This doesn't quite look like a bird or a machine. It looks like both. A sleek metallic wing twisting mid-air, not through force, but in tension. No flaps, no hinges, just smooth, silent motion, as if it knows exactly what to do. And somehow it does. These are metamorphic wings, and they're rewriting everything we thought we understood about flight. Not just making it better, but making it different. Lighter, smarter, more responsive, almost alive. What if the next leap in aviation isn't about more power, but more intelligence? What if wings could adapt like living systems? The future is already in motion. Let's dive in. The Secret Life of Wings Every airplane in the sky is lifted by something deceptively simple, a curve. That smooth arch on the wing's surface, called an airfoil, is the reason flight even happens. As air rushes over and under it, a pressure difference is created and the aircraft rises. But the real genius isn't just in the shape, it's in how that shape can change. For decades, pilots have used flaps, slats, and spoilers to tweak the wing during flight. These components shift position to adjust lift, drag, and stability. During takeoff, flaps extend to generate more lift at lower speeds. During landing, they help slow things down. It's a clever system, but it's also mechanical, segmented, and often bulky. The more parts you add to a wing, the more potential failure points you create. Each hinge and actuator means extra weight, more drag, and constant maintenance. That's the trade-off we've accepted until now. What if the wing itself could handle all of that seamlessly? What if the very surface of the wing could stretch, bend, or flex without breaking? A shape that responds not with bolts or hydraulics, but like muscle and skin. This isn't just theory anymore. We're entering a time when wings aren't just built to fly, they're built to evolve. Return of a forgotten idea. Before flaps, before hydraulics, before modern avionics, there was warping. When the Wright brothers built their first aircraft, they didn't rely on flaps to steer or control lift. They twisted the entire wing. Using a system of cables and pulleys, the wingtips flexed and curled, adjusting the airfoil in real time. It was crude, fragile, and hard to control. But it worked. The idea was simple. Let the wing itself adapt. But materials back then couldn't handle the strain. The wood cracked, the fabric tore. And as planes grew faster and heavier, this method faded into aviation history. We replaced biological mimicry with mechanical precision. Yet the concept never truly died. Nature has always been a master engineer. Birds don't flap flaps, they bend feathers. A hawk in a dive tweaks individual sections of its wing to control descent with elegance no machine has matched. Engineers knew this, they watched, they studied. But until recently, we didn't have the materials to replicate it. Now, with the rise of smart materials and composites, the dream is returning. Not to mimic the past, but to evolve beyond it. To combine the flexibility of muscle with the reliability of metal. It's not about copying nature, it's about learning from it. Warping, once dismissed as impractical, is back. But this time, it's not pulling on wires, it's driven by embedded intelligence. And in this revival, wings are no longer stiff tools of flight. They're dynamic, responsive structures, alive in a way we've never seen before. Rise of metamorphic aerodynamics. Imagine a wing that doesn't just react, but anticipates. A surface that knows when to shift for takeoff, when to tighten for a dive, or loosen for a glide. This is the promise of metamorphic aerodynamics. Wings that change shape as naturally as muscles tense and relax. At the heart of this revolution are materials that respond to their environment. Shape memory alloys can bend and return to form when heated. Smart polymers stretch and contract based on electrical signals. Paired with compact actuators and embedded sensors, these materials don't just perform, they adapt. The wing stops being a static structure. It becomes a living system. This approach eliminates the need for traditional flaps and hinges. No more cutting into the wing's surface. 
No more added weight from motors or linkages. Instead, the entire wing becomes a continuous, flexible surface capable of subtle, smooth transitions. That means less drag, better efficiency, and fewer mechanical failures. But it's not just about saving fuel. It's about agility, control, and new design freedom. Aircraft with metamorphic wings can fly farther, maneuver better, and respond faster to changing conditions. For pilots, it's a leap forward in handling. For engineers, it's a blank canvas. What began as a question, can wings move like muscles, is quickly becoming a reality. And it's changing everything we know about flight. Fishback and the evolution of control. In the search for smarter wings, one design stands out, not for its complexity, but for its simplicity, inspired by nature. It's called Fishback, short for Fishbone Active Camber. And just like its name suggests, it borrows directly from biology. Picture the spine of a fish, flexible but supported. That's the idea behind this morphing wing. Instead of flaps, Fishback uses a central skeleton that bends smoothly, allowing the wing's trailing edge to flex like a living fin. Along this flexible structure are a tensioned skin, tendons, and a pulley system that controls movement with astonishing precision. It's not about brute force, it's about gentle transformation. When tested in wind tunnels at Swansea University, the results were eye-opening. The fishback structure was able to reduce drag while maintaining the same lift. In real terms, that means it could be up to 125% more aerodynamically efficient than a traditional wing using flaps. That's not a small improvement. It's a fundamental shift. And what about strength? Wings have to hold fuel, endure turbulence, and survive thousands of flight hours. Surprisingly, Fishback passed early structural tests with ease. Its core materials, engineered composites, and memory materials are light but strong. More importantly, they behave predictably under stress. In a world where electric and hydrogen-powered aircraft are on the rise, lighter, morphing wings like Fishback could be the key to efficiency and control. Less fuel weight, less mechanical complexity, more performance. It's not just a concept, it's already flying in labs. And soon, it might be flying above you. Shape Memory Wings in Action Not all breakthroughs happen in giant wind tunnels or million-dollar labs. Some begin on a desk with 3D printed parts and quiet ambition. That's where the next wave of shape-shifting wings is forming, like the project led by Ru Wu at the University of Manchester. Her team created a carbon fiber composite wing that moves with eerie precision. Instead of hinges or motors, it uses an active trailing edge that subtly changes its angle in flight. It doesn't jerk or flap. It flows. Powered by an array of linear ultrasonic motors, the wing can bend on command, adjusting its shape based on air pressure, speed, or turbulence. These ultrasonic motors don't spin, Instead, they vibrate at frequencies too high there, creating motion through the inverse piezoelectric effect. That means electrical energy becomes movement, and that movement changes the wing. No gears, no hydraulics, just silent, fluid control. For now, the prototype uses small servo motors to demonstrate the concept, but the final version aims to rely entirely on smart piezoelectric actuators. It's lighter, faster, and most importantly, far more durable. Tests have shown that these adaptive wings generate a higher lift-to-drag ratio than conventional wings with flaps. In aviation, that ratio is everything. It's the difference between a short flight and a long one, between turbulence and smooth sailing. This isn't just academic theory. These wings work, and they're being refined to one day glide through real skies, adjusting silently to every gust and angle. Not with brute force, but with quiet intelligence. From lab prototypes to full-scale flight. The shift from prototype to full-scale application is where most futuristic ideas break down. What works on a model often crumbles under real-world demands, wind, weight, and wear. But metamorphic wings are proving surprisingly resilient. NASA, in collaboration with MIT, 
has built a wing entirely from tiny interlocking components, carbon fiber subunits that behave like high-tech Lego pieces. Small robotic arms assemble the wing, and instead of flaps or motors along the surface, just two actuators at either tip twist the entire wing in unison. That's all it takes. This modular approach means lower weight, about a tenth of what a traditional wing might weigh, and remarkable versatility. A single wing structure can be reassembled into new shapes for different aircraft or aerodynamic profiles. During wind tunnel tests, these wings performed as well as conventional designs, but with none of the bulk or mechanical complexity. And then there's Flexis, a company working with NASA for nearly a decade. They've built a full-size morphing wing, tested it on actual planes, and achieved fuel savings up to 11%. Not estimated, measured. The wing responded faster than traditional flaps and used 20% less power to operate. These aren't dreams. They're flying. Now. The road ahead. The era of metamorphic wings is only beginning to unfold. As materials grow smarter and designs become more fluid, aircraft won't just move through the sky. They'll move with it. These wings are quiet, flexible, and instinctive reshaping themselves in real time. And this innovation doesn't end with planes. The same adaptive technology could revolutionize wind turbines, drones, and spacecraft, making them lighter, more efficient, and more responsive. Where we once relied on flaps, hinges, and rigid components, we're now shifting towards surfaces that flow and flex. Machines are learning from nature, not by imitation, but by evolution. The sky is no longer just something to fly through. It's something to understand, to merge with. And the next time you look up, what you see might not just be a plane. It might be the future of flight.